Hi, it's Angrami here, and today I will show you how to use a PowerShell to ensure that TLS 1.2 is in use. Okay, let's start. Okay, so now in here I will just focus on the TLS uh, part, and um, so I won't be the whole script when you connect to host. Um, because that's already known. So let's start and um, let's use this new variable TLS check and, and I will be getting the list of the hosts. So get a VM host where I'm looking for the host which has the legacy protocols switch on. So we get advanced settings and this is a variable called user var and esxi vps disable to protocols. So this variable will show us the list that will give us the list of the host uh, which uh, has those legacy protocols still switch on as I am selecting now where value is not like legacy protocols. I'll, so to understand that one is that variable shows the disable protocol which are not those legacy which means it will show me the, all the holes with legacy protocols on. <laughs> so now let's do the TLS list and uh, let's um, use the uh, our TLS check uh, against that list to list um, the, the host uh, with the vulnerabilities. Okay, so we select entity and select value. Furthermore, we do the uh, TLS uh, count. So uh, let's uh, put the TLS check. Okay, and now let's do measure and the select and expand this property, which is count. Okay, and now let's apply the fix to the host. So TLS check get set advanced settings. Okay, and now we put the value of those legacy protocols. So SSL v3, TLS v1, and TLS v1.1. And now we do the confirm uh, and we put as a fault. So we don't need to confirm every single time. It will uh, do automatic. We can list uh, those vulnerable hosts as well. So we use a uh, TLS list if I can only spell right. Uh, okay. So we export that list uh, to CSV. Oh, come on, on the bottom, yeah. And uh, now we have to put a location which I like to use a temp folder because uh, they always. The temp has always read write access. So, yes, I just name of the file vuln TLS as as V. One more thing we can do we can uh, send an email uh, to users and uh, alerting them that some action is required because that change will require a reboot. So let's do that. If a simple check, if I open bracket and TLS check, uh, sorry TLS count and not equal zero. Now open curly bracket and let's put variable uh, body. And now we can start our message. Uh, so let them know uh, that um, some action is required. Uh, we detected uh, below SXI uh, servers. 
uh, were detected with legacy legacy security protocol protocols protocol <laughs> today um, enabled ESXi ESXi um, host have been remediated Well, however, oh, however, reboot for affected host is required. Please schedule appropriate action. Okay, and that's the end of the message. Um, I think uh, that's enough. Um, guys, I think we finished. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave, please leave them down below. Um, if you like that video, obviously leave the like, subscribe to my channel, read my blog, angrysysops.com, and see you in the next video. Bye.